everybody welcome to my channel behind the vanity I'm Jessica just hit this little there's a little icon down here on this side of the screen just click on that and then hit that bell notification and you will know when I post more videos today's video is gonna be kind of a contouring basics I had a friend recently ask me what is contouring I thought blush was contouring and then you have bronzer and you have all this stuff so it can get really 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 confusing and the idea of contouring can be really scary you know you can go from looking like you have great bone structure to looking scary if you don't do it right and so it's scary what is contouring pretty much what contouring is is using a dark and a light color to kind of accentuate the bone structure that you have in your face or kind of help create what you would like a little bit more. You create shadows, you know, you can kind of reshape your nose with it, you can just create better cheekbones, you can make your forehead look smaller, you can make your forehead look bigger, you can chisel your jawline a little bit. It's not a miracle, you know, and you do have to be careful Sometimes it shows up in photos better than in real life, so you do kind of have to be careful with it, but it's an interesting technique and something to kind of play around with. In show business, I know a lot of people that impersonate celebrities, and they've been doing this for years, probably long before it was ever a thing or cool or mainstream, I guess you could say, just to make their face appear to be someone else's from a distance or in pictures. But people have kind of taken it on in real life. Let's get started. There are pretty much, there are basically two different ways to contour. You have powder contour that you apply with a brush, and then you have like cream contour, and sometimes it comes in a pan, and then sometimes it comes in a stick form, kind of like a lipstick. So I'm gonna actually show you both methods today. I'm gonna do half my face with one, half my face with the other. The good thing about today too is that, especially if you're first starting with contour, you don't wanna spend a lot of money. So the products that I'm gonna be using are from the Dollar Tree. So I'm literally using $3 worth of product. So you can literally buy it, try it, if you hate it, you can throw it away and not even feel bad about it, so that's great. So I will be doing half my face with one and half my face with the other, so you can see. I, I always thought that I liked cream contour better, but I kind of like powder better. I feel like it's a little lighter, a little easier to control. I don't know, the verdict's still out. I, still, I use both, really, because I, I can't really decide what I like better. So, you know. Why make a choice? You don't have to anyway. The first thing I want to start out with are the products I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using these for the cream contour. I use, you'll remember this that I used in my Dollar Tree, full face of Dollar Tree makeup video. It's actually my very first video that I posted and the screen is portrait mode and stuff, but the content's good, I think. So anyway, I'll put that on the end screen so you can check that out. But this is from that video and it's my light contour stick. It's LA Colors, of course, dollar. And then I went ahead and I bought the darker color. And yeah, this is dark and this is light. So it's the same thing and that's brand new. I have not used that yet. So that will be my cream contour. And then for my powder contour, again, you saw this in the Dollar Tree video. And this is a just a powder. It's got the dark and the light and it's Hollywood. Beauty Benefits Hollywood and it's just a contour palette for a dollar. So, and I'll just be applying that with one of these brushes that I have. It's a double-ended thing that I kind of bought for this purpose. Not from the Dollar Tree, I don't remember where I got it, but use any brush that you like. So before we get started, I wanted to show you that price really doesn't matter, I don't think, with this kind of a product, especially when you're starting out. Don't, don't spend a lot of money. You don't know if you'll like it, and honestly, I don't notice the difference between the products anyway, personally, from what I've used. I haven't used expensive cream contouring, but a couple of years ago, I bought this NARS contour palette, and it is powder. It's in the color Paloma. They had a couple of them. I don't know if they still make it or not, but that's what you get. You get a the dark, and then you get the, the light. First of all, first of all, I, pro I spent, I'm sure I spent more than $30 for this. And it's good, I have no major complaint about it. Well, yes I do. <laughs> Why is this, the light color so much smaller? I always run out of that even when they're the same size, let alone if, they're, if it's smaller. So that I don't like about it. But, honest to goodness, 
does that not look pretty much the same? And if anything, I, I kind of, I like that they're the same. See, I've already, I've, I'm hitting pan on the light color already. So that is gonna make me really irritated when I hit pan on this one, on the light color. But what you can do is use it as a bronzer. It does make a good bronzer because it's matte. Um, but yeah, so they, they look exactly the same. I mean, I said expensive, cheap. And I don't honestly don't think there's a difference. So don't make this mistake. Let me put my hair back. Okay, so I'm gonna start with powder contour first. I'm gonna use this angled brush for the dark and then I'm gonna use this brush here for the, the light. So I start, and mind you, I already have foundation on. I got foundation, lashes, and lip gloss. That's all I have. I do this, usually do this before I do bronzer and or blush. So I do this on, usually I'll have my eyes done and then I'll have the foundation, concealer, and I'll do contouring next. So you just take, take some of the dark contour and then just go where you want your cheekbones to go. So you just kind of accentuate. And then I like to kind of bring it up on my forehead a little bit and I skip this area because I kind of want this area to just be on the lighter side. And then I also go under my chin. And you really want to blend, this is going to be the key. And then I sometimes take a little bit and drag it down my nose kind of like this. And again, blend, blend, blend. Can't stress blend, blend, blend enough. So there you go. I just did the dark contour, kind of where I want shadows to be. I did along my nose, around. And I don't even know how it shows up on camera, but that's kind of straight on. So I've got half the face done. Now we're gonna go in with the light color. And I just like to take some on the brush and then go along the cheekbones. This area right here next to the eye is always really nice to highlight. And then I, I do my jaw. So now you're creating kind of the opposite effect. You're kind of bringing out, we've just depressed certain areas and now you wanna bring out other areas. So there you go. It's that simple. And as long as you don't do a heavy hand and you go subtle with it, that's all you want. You just want it to look, I can't stress how natural you want this to look. So there you go. There's contour on this side of the face using powder. So next we're gonna do cream contour and I'm gonna do this side of my face with that. I always start with the dark color no matter what formulation I'm using. They're either retractable, and if you've watched any of my videos, you know how I love something retractable. So then you just take this, again, light hand, and I just kind of paint it on, kind of like that, and go under the chin, and I'm gonna go down, down the nose. So see, it's very, um, it's very stark. It's very, you know, uh. And then the next thing you wanna do, and I'm gonna just use this beauty blender that I use to put on my foundation with. It's already a little bit damp. It's not an actual beauty blender, it's some other brand that I don't remember what it is, but you can use your fingers to blend it. You can use a makeup sponge, like the little disposable, well, I guess they're all disposable, but you can use one of the little white triangles. You could use a, um, a silicone sponge, or you can even use a brush. You can use like a, kind of like a foundation brush and blend it in something. You could probably use something like this. I'm not gonna do it because I need that for my light color, but you could probably use that. I'm gonna blend it in. And the beauty is, is if there's not enough, you can always add more. They are buildable. So I've just added a little bit more and I'm gonna just blend it in. Next, we're gonna use the light contour. And same thing, you're gonna kinda, I'm gonna go along here just a little bit. I got a nose, I might as well work with it. And then bring it up 
here. And then down there, it's really not rocket science. And then again, blend, 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 blend. So there you go. I don't know how even I got it using the two different products on each side because they are slightly different colors and whatnot, but there is the contour on that side. And there is the contour on that side. To look at it, I don't really know which one I like the best. It's hard to say. But see, it, it's very, very, very light hand, very subtle, it's not scary. You just do a little bit. A little bit goes a long way, especially in real life. Pictures and stage and all that kind of thing, it can be a little different. You know, that, that's a little, you go a little heavier, you can go a little heavier handed, but for real life, you just wanna keep it subtle. You just wanna make it kinda of look like it's your own bone structure. And the way I have it done right now would be very believable that it is my own bone structure. Again, no sharp lines, not too dark, not too much of anything. And then from here, you could add some bronzer. Really, I, I would probably just add some blush from here and be done because came out really nice I think so there you go there is the basics of contouring using two different methods inexpensive makeup inexpensive products simple technique and there you go don't be afraid to contour try it buy your products inexpensive at first to try it out see if you like it and then you can splurge I have nothing against the NARS and I think at some point I'll do a video where I do half my face in one, half the other, and we can kind of compare it. But I'm nothing against it, but I'm just, I'm loving this, obviously. So it's, it's been really good, and I think the effect is great. So don't be afraid. What is your favorite contour formulation? Do you like the creams? Do you like the powder? Do you like the, do you like the cream that's in the pan? Do you like the stick form? How do you feel about the NARS one and the fact that they get two different sizes? I, again, it just makes me, I'd forgotten that almost. Let me know. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification and like this video. I will see you next time. Bye.